Uh, here at Lane Stadium, or I've been to Lane Stadium, I know it's the, like the fifth loudest in college football, especially in that end zone. What were you doing with silent cadences or just to prepare them for that noise they're going to hear? How do they measure that? With decibels. Really? Yeah, Kansas City Chiefs Who, what's the, the loudest Oh, ever. no question about that. Yeah. I can vouch for that. Yeah. I can vouch for all of them. But this stadium, Penn State was pretty the, loud, too. It's all pretty loud. But you're going in there, and it's sold out. And it's yeah, you, got, you have to deal with it. Yeah, you should embrace it, though. Okay. That's what college football is all about. Uh, it's a great atmosphere. They got an awesome fan base. They got a good football team, uh, excellent coaching staff. So we should embrace it. It's a big, mm -hmm. big challenge to go down there. Uh, we'll we'll have ways to deal with the noise, you know, just like every team that goes in there. Um, but you know, our guys should be very excited about this, and I believe they are. Um, during the bye week, obviously you got self assessed, but recruiting wise, how much were you guys able to get done? And did you see any ball yourself? Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, we did. We got a lot done. These guys traveled out. They were out for two days on the road recruiting. I went, I went out on Friday, a bunch of Massachusetts schools. Um, you know, like I've always said, you know, like, for instance, you know, the Catholic Conference, right? But, you know, to me, like, those are some awesome schools. Obviously, I went to St. John's Prep, but you've got, you know, it's a Varian Catholic Memorial, uh, BC High, Malden Catholic. You know, those schools have, have awesome young players. They have players that are going to be great in the future and you know we we we, we uh we covered a lot of that a lot of that area and then i went to the cm zavarian game which was a great football game so great crowd it was awesome for massachusetts high school football two excellent teams going at it two great coaches and coach dibiaso and coach fernaro so it was it was, a, it was a time well spent speaking of prep i know you have a big day coming up saturday uh, being inducted into their hall of fame Obviously, you're preparing for the game, but what does that mean to you to have that happen on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, it's certainly not for my playing ability, but I do appreciate the honor. Um, you know, St. John's Prep is, uh, you know, just like I was just saying, those other schools, you know, it's a life-changing school. You know, that, that's a place where um, my parents thought it was the best place for me relative to being 14 years old, and it was. It was a great place. I have lifelong friends there, um, and it's a great honor, and I'm very appreciative of it. That was pals with Jim O'Leary. He was a good guy. Yeah. He's still alive. Is that good? Oh. Yeah. You said he was a good guy. He's a, he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Didn't mean it that way. No, I know. Let's just talk about Kyron Drones. Uh, I was looking at his numbers. Uh, the running looks scary, too. Yeah, he's a good player. I mean, I don't think we use the word scary, but he's a very, very good player. I mean, we, we, we've got to do a good job of making sure that we contain him, um, do the best we can. He's going to make plays. He's... Uh, He's an excellent, excellent player, and, and we've got to do a really good job against him. No doubt, it's a big challenge for us. He's, he's, uh, he can beat you with his arm and with his, uh, with his speed. I saw they have five receivers with 15 or more catches. Is that his ability to spread the ball around? To yeah. Him? How, you have to cover the whole field. You have to. I mean, they, they do a really good job. They've got a lot of good skilled players. Got a good offensive line. Um, got a good running game. They're a solid team. Very, very good football team. Uh, good on defense. Two really good corners. Uh, good up front. Got a couple transfers up front that are very, very good players. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's you know just like every game, they're all going to be big time challenges for 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 us. Tech has uh, twenty sacks, uh, tops in the ACC. What have you seen out of them there? Yeah, I mean they do a good job. I mean they have a good pressure package. Um, they they do a good job of freeing those guys up, and you know you you, do, you have to do a great job of uh, of being ready protection wise. That's why we practice a lot. So hopefully we can not give up the 21st and 22nd sack, you know, but they, yeah, they do a great job. Like I said, it's going to be a big challenge. Saw Kyle the other day, it looked good. Is he good to go? Kyle Robichaud? Yeah. yeah, he's good to go. Yep, he's, he's, he's doing a good job. He's been out there. I think all the backs are good to go. Uh, anything on Jalen Blackwell? Jalen yeah. Blackwell, I would say, I, I would say right now, would, would not expect him back this year, but he'll be ready to go in the spring. That's what I'd say right now. Could that change? That could change, but... Um, and I would say the same for Bryce Steele. I would say both those guys would be ready to go in the spring, but not right now. Okay. I don't know if this is relevant today, but BC followed a, uh, Virginia Tech into the ACC. They right. played in the championship game the next year. Right. And kind of supplanted Syracuse, really, as BC's rival. So I guess what I'm asking you is, is this kind of like a rivalry game for you guys? I mean, I think that, you know, when you look at these regional games, um, and, I, you know, I consider this a, one of those regional games, Syracuse is definitely a rivalry. And they're having a great season. Uh, Virginia Tech definitely, um, but you know, you look at Pitt. You know, yeah. th th those are those are ri rivalry games, and I think that's what's great about college football. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I think th these games are, you know, what it's all about in college football. There, you, you got a Thursday night audience. You, you know, you probably have our game and an NFL game, so you got a lot to, 
you, you know, a lot of football on that night, and uh, I think it's great for the fan bases, so it, it should be a fun night. Can you take us through these 12 days, just how you approach each day going into the game? Uh, I won't day, take you through each day, but I, but yeah, no, we we look, we um we, we spent a lot of time on ourselves last week. Um, did a lot of like uh, Rich was saying, a lot of uh, self scout. Um, looked at ourselves, tried to correct some things. Uh, had had a lot of you know tough reps, tough practices, um, physical practices, and then um, you know then we started on uh, Virginia Tech kind of later in the week and on Sunday, and then we recruited. Like Kevin was saying, so we tried to we tried to get a lot done uh, over the last twelve days. Guys, good. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it.